when I've got something I'm worried about, I always go and talk to Gary because I'm used to Gary's my best friend. Which wooden spoons, guys? Are then? Wooden spoons. Um, in that. In that one. They were in that one. We're totally different. Gary would rather go home and have a quiet night in and where I'd rather be dashing about the Trafford Centre or Tesco's. And... That's a piss take, that ain't a one spoon. I swear. <laughs> so are you very um, familiar with your kitchen again? No, not really. There'd be no kitchen in the world without a wooden spoon. Do you know, Gary only re heaps the rooms that he's, he lives in. <laughs> he's been reading too many magazines. We used to share rooms when we used to go away with the teams. It got to the point where Gary was going to bed at nine o'clock, half nine, and I was watching the telly, still awake on the phone to Victoria at half eleven, twelve, and then he'd be up at seven o'clock in the morning and I'd want to lie until ten, eleven. So it didn't really work out, so you he like chucked me out. You're like the old couple? Out. Yeah, like the old married nice. couple. Tremendous pastor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Bex, I eat it all or what? No, you don't have to eat it all. Okay, that's good. 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 It's burning. That pan there. It's got potatoes in it. What's that like burning? Huh? It just says it just flamed up. What's burning? Probably not burning. That underneath, see it, Dabba? Huh? Flame. What is it, that? Flame. It's supposed to be like that. It's all okay cooking for me, but not getting filmed cooking for me. So nobody knows about it, you know what I mean? He's juggling with that. <laughs> it's just can't get out of it. Do you think it's feminine <laughs> in coming around and cooking for me? No, I think it's uh, it's friendly. You will be that opinion. Friendly. <laughs> I don't just come round to cook for you. I know you don't. I'm, I'm, no, but this is how this is. I'm staying here. That's why I'm cooking. I know you're staying here. And don't get me wrong. You don't come round here and cook every night, either, do you? Most. Well, you have done so far, but <laughs> <laughs> if it's already goes away, then I ask him to stay, and he stayed about three or four times now for about a week. Oh, well, he did stay with Victoria once, didn't he, for a couple of weeks? Yeah. And Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, yeah. Oh. That's always Brooklyn was here now. <laughs> 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 get rid of him. <laughs> Very nice. So, is your home a bit of a refuge generally? Do other players come and stay if they no. want? No. No. No one stays there. Just him. <laughs> Bye. No, what do you mean? No, I wondered whether whether you know your home is somewhere that people come to if they you know. It's like the Priory. <laughs> <laughs> he got to know Ryan through going up, waiting for him, signing autographs and what have you. And we got to know him and friends and friends and friends. And when he got uh, sent off for England in the World Cup, we was very well, quite close to him. Asked him if he wanted his name changed to David Beckham. 